Motionistas. I'm here with Svetlana to talk to you about a very interesting part of the body, and that is called the greater trochanter. This is this knob that's on the side of our leg, our leg bone, our femur, and it is the site of the attachment of many important muscles right here. So, uh, for example, the glute medius, glute minimus, the piriformis, the um, gemellus, and a lot of those rotators, as well as the uh, um, origin of the vastus lateralis, which is one of the muscles that leads into the knee. So what I want you to do is find it on your own body. You can do this by sliding your finger about four to five inches below your hip, and then put your other hand right at the groin so that you understand that where the hand of the groin is, is the actual ball and socket joint. And where your hand on this knob here is, is where the trochanter is. And the reason that this is an interesting part to begin to focus on is because if you start to think about your movement, leg movement, originating from using this trochanter, and I'll show you on Svetlana, as the operating or operator of your leg, you're going to feel a very different experience of your entire leg movement, rather than trying to take it from the ball and socket joint. So for example, when you're lifting your leg to the front, think of rotating that bone down. When you're opening it to the side, think of how the gluteal muscles contract and pull that knob out to the side. And notice if you feel any sense of space in the hip by doing that, rather than trying to operate your leg from the hip. Now, the other thing to think about is, let's say you're doing some leg swings to loosen up the, the hip, and you're thinking about this trochanter and how it rotates back. When the leg goes back, think about this part of your body lengthening and the trochanter reaching away from your hip bone. This is a completely transforming way of thinking about your leg movement. So I want you to experiment with that. Last but not least, when you're standing on your legs, again, keeping some space between that bony knob and the top of your hip bone will make bending easy. So that's all for now. Feel free to always check back in with me. And remember, check with your doctor before you apply any of these exercises to your practice.